Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. He's in his AMX 13105, and we're on Tundra. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty much where the game loaded in. So we're not going to get the countdown. We're just going to kind of go from there. Um, and so, yeah, when I can, I will be trying to foreshadow upcoming games with the, ga the, the bonus clips from the game before, I if I can. It, it worked out really well in this particular instance. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go look at yesterday's bonus clip, and you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. So, um, he's gonna get up into this sneaky spot up here, and he's looking to hit the enemy scout that is currently buzzing around our base. And, ooh, unfortunately, because of the fact that he auto aim that, he's going to miss that. But he doesn't get lit, which is really good. Ooh, why is there a Chrysler right there, side onto us? I don't know. But he's going to regret that, and he fires back a shot clutch. Unfortunately for him, it goes wide. Um, though, I'm not really surprised because the Chrysler does actually need to aim at things if it wants to hit them. And he definitely didn't aim that shot. He just turned and snapped it. Um, hoping to get us to keep our head down instead of continuing to murder him. Uh, unfortunately for him, that's kind of what... Ooh, yeah, don't even bother. That's kind of what happens, uh, and kind of not. He does get shot one more time, but he does get out of our range. So, well, now he is pretty, mu pretty much free and clear. Your driving is a little bit weird. Now, Alex has told me he has ping issues. So maybe he's uh, he's experienced some, some lag right here. But I like the fact that he goes for the reload. He knows he's going to be traveling between here and the, his next target. And so he goes for the reload so that uh, it's not, you know, he, by the time he gets to his target, he's got a full clip and he's ready to do battle. And that's really, really important in the AMX. If you're not, if you don't have a full clip when you get to your destination, you have done something horribly wrong. Ooh, one, two shots takes out the Udas. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do anything against that thing unless he reloads entirely, which he goes for. Um, and then he gets shot by the Charioteer. So now he's down to half health. Um, he's got a tank destroyer on each side of him. Sorry, he's got a tank destroyer on one side of him. And um, really clear ground <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> That poor charioteer thought that he had everything in hand and that all was. Ow! All of a sudden, Shell comes flying out of the sky and drops on him and just ruins his day. And I love doing that to people. In either scout tanks or as artillery. Um, and then, <laughs> of course, because we were lit and we were, uh, came up here, when we go around the corner, the Artie's just waiting for us. And unfortunately for the artillery, he did not kill us in a single shot. So he no longer exists. Um, looking at this ISM is a good plan as long as you can get flushed inside. Looks like we can. And two shots and it's dead. Looking for the STRV now. He's looking like he might want to go for a reload. Uh, nope, he's in fact going to use the shell in the clip. And he's just going to wait until the STRV is not paying attention, cannot pay attention, and goes and puts a shot into him and starts the reload. Um, STRV is most likely going to go down to the Scorpion and the 53 TP that are back there with him. Uh, so I think Alex has already shifted his sights onto the M103. He will be loaded in just a few seconds, so he's going to get up some speed right now and go in and start being aggressive towards the M103. One two shells into him and a third one to round out, get the kill, and then smoothly walk away like nothing has happened. And it's just another walk through a, uh, you know, a, a weird tundra landscape where you occasionally murder people. It's, it's fine, right? So now the moss pushing in is a small issue. Small because it's it's really not a non-existent issue, assuming we know where the moss is going. And 
but it is still an issue we need to think about. So once the Moss commits to an approach, that's when Alex switches up, goes the other way, and we're going to circle around and try and get behind that guy. Because uh, taking him out will secure us a decent chance of winning. Uh, it's not 100% because there's still an I-7 in the game, a T-10. Uh, those two are going to give us some real trouble if we're not careful. You cannot auto-aim these shots and expect them all to go in. Uh, the back of a Moss, unless you are actually aiming, is equal chance bouncing as not. Unfortunately, only one of those three shells went in uh, because he got lucky and it went in the right place when he was auto-aiming. Um, even if you, I mean, it's just not worth uh, auto-aiming. <laughs> Unless you absolutely have to. Uh, and I don't think he absolutely had to. I think it was just convenient for him. That would have been a time to stop and aim. Make sure all three of those shells were planted in the right place. And securely went in. Now the moss aggressing on the bat chat. That's going to leave space for us once he turns his turret. And now. And now it's just farming damage. As the bat chat dies, the moss also dies. And now we're going to scoot on over. Rigo this tank and get on over to where the enemies are. Now he's only got <laughs> 13 shells left in the tank. 13 shells. So <laughs> that's three, or sorry, four more clips and then a spare. Um, that's that's going to be an issue. Um, the fact is he's going out here for some reason. So we're going to speed this up because it's going to be forever till he gets back in this fight. Um, I don't know why he decided to come way out here and not cut through... Um, somewhere else and come up here. He, he took the long way and it's going to get most of his team killed before he gets into sight. Now unfortunately auto aim there put the shell in the wrong place and he didn't secure the kill. But no! You just had to aim! <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume lag is still Alex's issue because all he had to do was aim that shell and it would have killed the T-10, that would have been game. But, no. Alex is raging at his team. And, um... And now, it is going to come down to a duel between him and a T-10. And this is the exact thing you do not want in a scout tank. You want to jump in and ambush people. Take them out when they don't know you're there. When they don't know exactly where you are. When they think you're on this side, you can come around from behind them and you know crack them over the head and then run away again um, so I feel like speeding this up and I will a little bit um, because I just I don't know how long he's gonna sit here without any action happening <laughs> uh, uh, he can't and like I mean this is his only option at this point he is in fact right he cannot go cat he needs to guard his own cap, because at some point the T-10 is going to do exactly this. It's going to get tired of chasing around. It's just going to go and start capping, and when it does, it will open itself up. Now, it may know it's been lit, but it doesn't know from where. And it definitely didn't expect us to be shooting it from this direction. Well done, sir. That was a good game to watch. And uh, let's, just, let's see what he got for that. Mastery Batch, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire for Effect. Five Bonds is not bad. Nothing to shake a stick at. High Caliber and Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that was a good game. Uh, so close. So close to that uh, Pools Metal. Or sorry, not Pools. Radley Walters. Um, so thinking back on the game, he would have had to kill like the Chrysler... Um, I think that's about the only one that we got game really close to killing, but then the kill got stolen away from us. Um, and so if he killed the Chrysler, then that would have put his damage, a base damage alone, up over 6,000 damage. And it would have got him those eight kills for the Rattly Walters. But oh well, I mean, it, things happen. You can't always go the way you want it to. And for the most part of that game, he was using standard ammo, so that was really good. 
Unfortunately, though, at the end, he just he needed to start learning some gold in order to guarantee the victory, which is how it goes most of the time. Um, and there's no shame in that. So this was a great game. Thank you so much, Alex. You are officially in the 6K Damage Club. I'll make sure I run over to Discord and uh, and put you in it if you are not already. There we go. As I was talking, I went ahead and did that. So you're now purple in Discord, sir. Good job. And I'll see you all next time. Enjoy today's bonus clip. And uh, <laughs> have a great night. This is IO8 Thrive. <laughs>